Hi and welcome to this week's video. Uh, this week's video I am making yet another quick and easy Christmas card and this is the card I'm going to be making. It uses a brand new set from our upcoming uh, autumn winter catalogue called Twinkle Trees. There are 12 um, stamps in this set and they all, it's kind of, I suppose, almost a two-step stamp. Well, it is two-step stamping, really, it can be. You can mix and match the um, the tree and sort of um, tinsel and light effects um, to create any number of Christmas trees. And this week, I'm entering this card into the Global Design Project. Um, the colours that they asked for this week were Per Pizzazz, Flirty Flamingo and Daffodil Delight, which I guess wouldn't be your first choice when creating a Christmas card, but when I saw the challenge, I really wanted to use this new set. So that's what I've done. Um, I have a standard um, card base from um, the Thick Whisper White, cut in a tent, tent fold, um, which is half A4, just uh, cut lengthways, folded over, scored and folded over. And then I have a very, thin um, mat of pear pizzazz and a top layer of our normal whispered white. So let's get started. Um, so as I said, that it's the photopolymer set. It only comes in photopolymer and it's better to use um, the Stampin' Up! piercing mat underneath. You could use a, um, a mouse mat but I find actually just the, the the sponginess, if you like, of this one is ideal for photopolymer sets just to get a better image. So I'm going to stamp this in um, pear pizzazz first of all. So roughly in the middle, like so. And then I'm going to swap over my stamp to get this little detailed one which I really like this one. So in Flirty Flamingo, I had tried stamping off before because I thought the Flirty Flamingo would be a little bit strong. Actually, after having tried it both ways, I quite like the stronger color. So that's that. And I'm using um, the little star cluster for, you can use any number of these really. So these are my twinkly lights and then of course a star for the top what tree would not be complete without the star at the top or maybe you put an angel at the top I like putting a star so there you go how simple is that now my greeting um, comes from a set that carried over from last year um, Oh What Fun which is another great it was set. It was used um, in combination with a, a tag kit um, but they're perfect um, for the Christmas season and I'm using the Merry Wishes and I'm just going to, oops, it's fallen off, just going to uh, stamp that, uh, let me just put that back on, a little bit stained from last year. I obviously used it mostly with Cherry Cobbler <laughs> and just using that with Pear Pizzazz. So Roughly in the middle. There you go. And I just thought I would add to this one some of our in colour embellishments. So I'm just going to put a little bit of little, oops, I want to get them to go straight. There you go. Just a little bit maybe. And this one on the other side. These come on the five of the five colours of our in colours. So we have them in Flirty Flamingo, Tapper Denim, Emerald Envy, Peekaboo Peach, and which one am I missing? Sweet Sugar Plum. Okay, so going to um, adhere that using some nail. To my layer of Pear Pizzazz. Uh, sometimes I use Tumbo, sometimes Snail, just for sheer speed. And then on the back, just to give it a little bit of dimension, 
I'm going to add a few of our Stampin' Up Dimensionals. I've almost run out of these, I can't believe that I've almost run out of them. I usually keep quite a good stock of them, but so they're next on my list. And there you go. That's today's card. So again, if you had these up in the production line, they would be very, very easily done for Christmas. So thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Of course, if you want the measurements for this card or a link to the supply list, please do visit my blog. It's stampincolor.com. And see you next time. Thank you very much. Bye now.